Hello chess lovers, I have a very impressive attacking game for you played by Jose Raul Capablanca against Charles Jeffe. The game was played in 1910 in New York. Capablanca started with d4 and d5 by Jeffe, knight f3, knight f6, e3, c6, c4, e6, knight c3. The game is transformed into a semi-slav defense with e3 variation, knight d7, bishop d3, bishop d6. This is all standard theory seen many times. We see castling by both sides and e4. White is pushing the e pawn forward, freeing his position, and now we'll try to use the opened diagonals in order to organize the attack. D takes e4, knight takes e4, and we see the exchange of knights on e4. Knight f6, Bishop c2. Of course, white will not allow the exchange of knight with the bishop because this bishop is going to play a very important role when organizing the attack. h6, b3, b6, bishop b2, and bishop b7. Well, instead of placing the bishop on b7, it would have been better to play c5, which is of course more active. If queen d3, then c takes d4, and if bishop takes d4, then bishop c5. Of course, bishop takes f6 is not dangerous because black will exchange the queens and only then will capture on f6. But instead, after bishop b2, we see bishop b7. And now comes queen d3. And already there are some threats of pushing the d pawn, capturing on f6 and checkmating black king. g6. Black is blocking the diagonal, but of course this is causing a lot of weaknesses in Black's camp. It was better to play rook e8. The idea is that Black is creating an escaping route for the king. For example, if d5, then after c takes d5, bishop takes f6, queen takes f6, queen h7 check, Black will have this king f8 move. But instead, after queen d3, we see g6 rook e1 and already this is becoming more and more dangerous for black knight h5 bishop c1 first attacking the pawn on h6 and only after king g7 capablanca went for this beautiful tactical shot rook takes e6 destroying the pawn chain and making black king vulnerable f takes e6 can't be played because after queen takes g6 check black king is getting checkmated let's go back after rook takes e6 we see knight f6 but instead of moving away the rook the knight is occupying the central e5 square knight e5 c5 well actually bishop takes e5 would have been better getting rid of this powerful knight on e5 square but instead after knight e5 we see c5 and now you can pause the video and try to find capablanca's next move ready he played bishop takes h6 check and after king takes h6 he went for this amazing knight takes f7 check and black resign removing the last defender which was protecting the g6 pawn and it's over Whatever black plays, black king is getting checkmated. King h5 can be met with queen h3 checkmate and rook takes f7 can be met with queen takes g6 checkmate. This was a very instructive game showing how by sacrificing your pieces one should undermine opponent's king side and target the king. If you enjoyed this brilliant attack, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. More games are coming. Good luck.